In today's video, I have some Dollar Tree wood blank Christmas DIYs for you. So if that's something you're interested in, then just keep watching. So for the first DIY, we are gonna take one of these wood rounds from Dollar Tree and cut the tag off. I then take my lightweight spackling, also from Dollar Tree. I absolutely love this stuff. It's super easy to work with and it dries super quick. Once that is completely dry, then I just sand that down smooth. And because this wood round is so thin, I wanted to make sure that the lightweight spackling wouldn't go anywhere. So I did just put a dab of hot glue behind that. I took the chalk couture transfer that I chose, which was this gorgeous, um, kind of like express mail to Santa, and I cut that up, and then I marked out where I needed to paint the middle, and I'm going to tape that off with my painter's tape, and then stain that middle part with my Dixie Belle Voodoo Tobacco Reed stain. I absolutely love this stain. I'm not sponsored or affiliated with them in any way. I just absolutely love their products. I do have the website linked in the description box below for you guys. So once I stain that and wipe away the excess, let that completely dry, and then give it a distressed coat of my white Waverly chalk paint. I love peeling back that painter's tape to reveal a crisp line <laughs> and then I retape it to paint the other sides with my crimson Waverly chalk paint. If you are as impatient as I am, then you can use your blow dryer to dry in between coats. And once that red coat was completely dry, then I peel back my painter's tape once again. I then take the transfer as I see fit and I just transfer on how I wanted it to. So I took these little lines and I transferred that on with gold at the bottom and the top of that white middle part. Now at the top, it did not go all the way across. So you just want to transfer on that first part, dry it, and then you're just going to continue the design on the rest of the sign. I also took my gold acrylic paint and just uh, painted a line at the top and the bottom of that middle part. And then I just transferred on the rest of the little pieces. I know I get a lot of hate in the comments about the chalk couture. However, this is my favorite medium to use. Everybody has their favorite medium. Maybe you like acrylic paint. Maybe you like watercolor. Maybe you like your Cricut. I personally love chalk couture. It's quick. It's easy to use. Anybody can do it. You don't need an, a machine and know about technology and how to run programs on your computer and I mean, the list goes on and on. So the point is, use what you like, no matter what anybody says. I personally love Chalk Couture. I've invested in it, and I'm going to use it. So if you personally do not like that, I totally get that. There are other channels that do Cricut that do all kinds of other stuff. I personally love to use it, and when I can, I will. So anyway, once I was done transferring on my image, I just made a um, triple bow with a few different ribbons. If you guys need to slow this down in the right-hand corner, all you have to do is click the three dots and then you can slow this down and watch how I just did that bow. After that, all I did was glue some greenery down to the sides of the bow, and that was it, you guys. Look how gorgeous this turned out. That's what I love about Chalk Couture. Again, the image is so crisp and so beautiful, and it literally was done in minutes. If you guys want to know how to get 40% off, check the pinned comment down below. For DIY number two, we're gonna take these wood blanks from Dollar Tree, once again, take the hangers off and then line them up side by side. And with some hot glue and large popsicle sticks, I just glue those signs together. I also put a tiny dab of hot glue on the back once again behind those holes so that I could cover them up in the front with my lightweight spackling once again from Dollar Tree and once that was dry then I used my I used <laughs> 
Y'all know I can't talk. I used my mini zip sander, which is always linked in my Amazon store in the description box below, and sanded that down smooth, and then gave it a distressed coat of my Dixie Belle Voodoo stain. I set that aside to dry, and now we're gonna make a ton of tassels. If you guys don't know how to make tassels or you're intimidated, please don't be. You're just wrapping string around something, tying it a couple times and cutting the end. Boom, you have a tassel. So the easiest way that I have found to do this is to grab an object, like I have this sign here from Dollar Tree, and I just wrapped my yarn around it 25 times. Once you cut the end, before you pull it off your sign, you're gonna cut another piece of yarn, slide that through and tie it at the top. Then you can pull it off, cut the end, and then you're going to cut another piece of yarn and tie that a little bit down from where you just tied that first knot at. And that's gonna create a tassel, again, super easy. And with this little sign, I got two out, I could do two at a time. And then I realized that if I just made them a little bit um, thinner, wrapping around, I could also do it three times at once instead of wrapping it 25, tying it off, pulling it off, etc., etc. You can wrap it a couple times and do a few tassels at a time. So that was just a quick tip to help you guys out and help you do this a little bit quicker if you do attempt this project. So what I did was made six green tassels, two white tassels, three tan, and I was gonna do four in like a darker tan. However, it did not fit on this sign, so all I ended up using was five green tassels, two white, three tan, and I did one green at the top, two white, three, and then four more green. So I'm just showing you here that I got three on this one sign. Um, so I hope this helps you guys out. I whenever I have made tassels before I had gotten a lot of question or I had gotten a lot of uh, comments saying that you guys weren't too sure how to make the tassels so this DIY project I wanted to make sure that I took the time out to explain that really well for you guys so once I was done all of my tassels I took this chalk couture transfer how gorgeous is this shiplap um, it's much easier than trying to uh, you know, measure it out and actually cut lines so that it looks like shiplap. This just gives the illusion. So once I was done the first part, then obviously it was not long enough to fit this entire sign. So I just dried that and then continued that pattern. And once I was done the pattern, y'all, I really was so undecided. I actually almost decided against the tassels i transferred on the joy with white at the top and then like kind of like an ombre effect with gold at the bottom and the way you achieve that is just split your wording or project in two and then to join the two colors i just take my squeegee and kind of go back and forth to join them or you can wet your finger and do a swirling motion in between them. Totally up to you. You get the same effect. Once I was done with the wording, I started to glue down the tassels. And I was like, oh lord, did I make a mistake? I don't know if I like this. So I just continued on because sometimes I let my brain get the best of me. So I would really encourage you guys to... Just know that it doesn't matter because your project is going to turn out beautiful. I always psych myself out and I'm like, oh God, what am I doing? And it always ends up being beautiful anyway. So I would encourage you guys to continue even if you think it's not going to look right. In the end, if it doesn't look right, you can always redo it. But once I was done gluing down all of my tassels, obviously starting with the green and ending with green, I took one of those little wooden stems from Dollar Tree and glued that to the bottom of my tree. And then I transferred on Peace and Love to the bottom with some red. And I also took my shimmer, um, shimmer, 
red chalk paste from Chalk Couture, painted one of those gold stars from Dollar Tree, and glued that to the top. And literally, you guys, that was it. I absolutely love the way that it turned out, even though I was super nervous. Um, I'm not too sure about the peace and love in the red. Let me know down in the comments. Would you have left that wording red, or would you have transferred it on with a different color? Okay friends, moving on to the last and final two DIYs. This is a much shorter video than I usually put out, but hey, at nine months pregnant, ah, my goodness, you guys, it's getting a little hard to stand up, but it's what I want to do. I love to DIY and I'm really gonna miss it for the few weeks I'm gonna be out. So I figured as long as I possibly can do it, I'm gonna do it. So anyway, I took these two wood shapes from Dollar Tree and painted them with a good coat of my white Waverly chalk paint and then once they were completely dry I took my mini chip brush and some Waverly antique wax and I dry brushed that wax all the way around both of them next I took this natural ribbon this natural colored ribbon that I got last year on clearance at Walmart and I just cut the pieces to wrap these and if you haven't figured it out yet we are making faux presents so once I once I had my pieces cut then I just start by wrapping them around one side at a time and gluing it to the back and just repeating that step all the way around each side now I used my chalk couture squeegees to make that glue dry quicker because if you guys are new hi my name's melissa i am super duper impatient i have adhd and waiting for glue to dry literally drives me nuts so i use my chalk couture squeegees to help me out with that and for the larger of the presents it had this edge on it so i made sure to push that wired ribbon over those edges so that it laid really nicely. I'm gonna show you that close up here. And then once again, glued that to the back. Again, for the larger one, I wanted it to look a little bit different. So for the second piece that I glued on, I did push that further to the top. I then take those same smaller ribbons that we tied the bow on the round side, on the first DIY and cut those down to do the exact same thing that we just did with that natural colored ribbon. Now for the second present, I almost just did them both exactly the same. And then I was like, okay, Melissa, like what actually is the point of that? Um, it probably would look cuter if they match the other bow. So that's why I decided to go with this Dollar Tree red ribbon with the gold snowflakes. I thought that it just tied in really well with the first sign. So these are beautiful and you can literally customize them any way you like. You can change out the present color, you can change out the ribbon color. The possibilities are completely endless. And then I cut four more pieces of both of, so two of the striped ribbon, two of the red ribbon, and then four of the natural colored ribbon. And I just glued the patterned ribbon on top of the shorter pieces of the two um, natural colored ribbon. And then once those were glued down, then I just folded it over on itself and used a piece of twine to tie that really tightly in the middle and then cut off the excess jute twine. I then took the longer piece and kind of folded it in a V glued that down so that it wouldn't go anywhere and then glued that to our little present and then glued the bow piece to the tail piece. This is just a super easy way to get a bow really easily look professional. Um, I know a lot of you guys struggle with bows and especially because I glued the patterned ribbon to the natural colored ribbon. I knew that I had to do my bows this way so that they would look right. I knew that if I tried to tie it any other way, it probably wouldn't have looked right. 
I then took these little ornaments that I got last year at Walmart on clearance. I love shopping the Christmas clearance for the next year's crafting season. So that's what I always do. Always check your clearance because you can get some really great deals. So for one of the tags, I left it as is and glued it to the left side of the bigger present. And for the smaller one, I flipped it over and took these tiny little, tra these little snowflake transfers. How cute are they? And I will leave all the transfers and stuff in a link for you guys. Um, it'll go into a cart and you can add and subtract from that cart as you like if you guys would like to grab any of these transfers. Um, but I just transferred on two of the snowflakes to that little tag and then cut off the bead and the end of it and glue that down as well. And then to finish this present, I forgot to mention that I did glue some greenery to the other present as well. Glued some greenery to this one. Oh, I guess I didn't do that yet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I glued greenery to both of the presents. For the bigger one, I glued down four pieces, two on each side. And for the smaller one, I glued down two on one side and one on the side where the tag was. And then to finish the last present, all I did was take a gold star sticker. Um, these are the little wooden stickers from Dollar Tree and glued that down to the front of the smaller one. That was it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you guys are still here, leave any type of Christmas emoji in the comment section for me. Don't forget to share this video out. Hit that thumbs up. It really helps my channel to grow. And I am still shooting for my goal of 100K by the time baby boy is here. Speaking of baby boy, I know you guys have been asking me for Amazon registry. I didn't want to do it. Everybody convinced me. I do have a link for you guys. So I will leave all the information that you guys need in the pinned comment down below. Also, let me know which project was your favorite this week. And if nobody has told you today, you are absolutely amazing. I appreciate you so much. You're worthy, you're gorgeous, and you can literally do anything you set your mind to. For any information on how I recently lost 60 pounds or chalk info, or just to be a part of the text crew, text the word on the screen. Until next time, guys, I love y'all so much. Bye. Check out the videos that are popping up here to your left while you're waiting on my next upload or join the DIY fam here to your right.